Here in America, we generally take clean drinking water for granted. It doesn't mean we don't have things in the water that we don't necessarily want to drink. Mineral content, chemicals, and other things can still leach in. I've used multiple different water filters over the years. I have a gravity drip filter with a Dubon ceramic filter, uh, which we've used for a while, and did a great job of pulling out heavy metals and rust and iron out of our drinking water at our old house. It's pretty inexpensive, about $100 to build. The filters are good for about 500 gallons, but it's very, very slow and takes up a bunch of room here in the corner of my living room. I've also used a zero water filter, again, which I really like, but it's slow, it's small, and the filters are really expensive. I was really interested when PhysiLife contacted me about their reverse osmosis water filters. They have an under the sink version and a tabletop version. Since I'm in a rental house, I didn't want to mess with anything under the sink. So this is the tabletop version. Let's open it up and take a look. I'm actually going to have to, oh, I'm actually going to have to read the instructions on how to put this together. No, that's not so bad. There's two filters, an alkali carbon and the RO filter. And then just go here in the front. So push it in and turn it until it's upright. Carbon filter. Okay, so there it is. So uh, let's plug it in. All right, so we fill up. This is the feed tank. So I'm going to go fill this up and filter. Kicked on all by itself as soon as I uh, plugged in, turn it on. So I can hear it gurgling on the back side and it's going to dump that water into this pitcher so you can pull it out and dispense or you can shoot water straight out here into your water bottle. And then we can see the water now is coming into the pitcher. It's being pumped through those filters and it's filling up right here. And we've got a TDS meter to show how it's coming. So when you run this the first couple of times, it will actually flash and tell you when you need to dump the tank in the back. So you fill water into the large tank, it processes it, fills the pitcher, puts the discharge back in here, but it can only take so much. So as you run it through, if it says change water, you have to dump the feed tank and refill it with fresh. And we can see that the water is being pumped up into here from the bottom and is filling up the little pitcher. Okay, let's see how we did. I've got my uh, TDS meter and let's check uh, the clean water and then we'll compare it against uh, the tap water coming in. Let's try the dispenser. Look at that, eight ounces on the nose. So you can just drop in your water bottle, select how much you want, and hit go. So now that we've done some basic testing, I'm gonna do the infamous red dye test. So I'm gonna put some red food coloring in the stock tank, let it run, and see what comes out the other side. Looks like Kool-Aid. And look at that. You're on the discharge tank. It's clear. Excellent. I mean, look at, look at, it's, look at the red dye test. I mean, it's taking all that out. <laughs>
So, uh, and it's got this little dispenser right here too. So you just put your glass here and hit eight and hit boop and it will fill it up for you. As you can see, it passed the red dye test with flying colors. So here's the input tank, and here's this perfectly clear water out of the other side. So fantastic job. Very, very impressed. So here it is living on our countertop, and you know it's a pretty good looking appliance. It kind of looks like a coffee maker. It's narrow and deep, so it just fits perfectly inside uh, our cabinet right here. I really like this autofill. I can just drop in my water bottle, put in, you know, eight ounces and hit go and walk away and let it fill up on its own. So it's nice to be able to turn it on and walk away. Uh, they also provide this little cover, this algae cover to put over the back side since, uh, since light will make uh, algae grow so you can cover up the back side. So final verdict on this thing, I'm really pretty pleased. It looks good, you know, it's not too big. You know, I like how it's kind of deep and narrow so it fits on a cabinet real well. You've got a really large reservoir in the back so it sucks the water out, pushes it through the filter, fills up that little pitcher and then puts the discharge back in the back. So uh, it's a, you don't have to have a separate drain line you don't have to have a separate drain line like you do on other devices where it discharges into the sink. It's all self-contained. So that's a really neat design. Um, it was fast. Uh, but, you know, other units are much slower, so it processed that really quickly. I like how a lot of things are automated. You know, you just hit the fill button and it goes. You know, you put the empty pitcher back on and it fills it back up. So you always have uh, water to drink. So this is a, a really neat design, and I'm really, really pleased uh, uh, that water tastes great. Took all of the junky minerals out that we have here, all the hard water uh, here in this area. So this is a, a great option, and uh, the tabletop model gives you a lot of flexibility as to where you want to put it. You don't have to deal with plumbing in hoses or stuff like that. So uh, very pleased. Uh, check out the links below. I've got some discount codes on this product. And uh, thanks a lot, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.